everyone. Welcome to Learning Literature with Purva. In this video, we are going to discuss the Elizabethan age or the golden age of England. So we are going to take a look at the historical background of the age, followed by the major literary features and the major writers. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. So the reign of Queen Elizabeth is known as the Elizabethan age. So the timeline is 1558 to 1603. Now Queen Elizabeth was an unmarried queen. She was also popularly called the Virgin Queen, Gloriana and Good Queen Bess. As we have seen in the age of revival, Queen Elizabeth was the daughter of King Henry VIII and Queen Anne Boleyn. She belonged to the Tudor dynasty. Anne Boleyn was executed two and a half years after Elizabeth's birth. The marriage of Anne Boleyn with King Henry VIII was annulled and Elizabeth was declared illegitimate. After the terrifying reign of her half-sister, Queen Mary, Elizabeth succeeded to the throne in 1558. Now, Queen Mary was a Catholic and executed thousands of Protestants during her reign. Therefore, she was nicknamed Bloody Mary. Queen Elizabeth was a Protestant. One of the first things that she did as the Queen of England was the establishment of an English Protestant Church, of which she became the Supreme Governor. Although everyone expected that Queen Elizabeth would eventually marry and produce an heir, she never married, despite several courtships. One of the biggest mottos of Queen Elizabeth was, I see, but say nothing. She was a very tolerant ruler. She avoided religious persecution. England's victory against the Spanish Armada in 1588 is considered one of the greatest military victories in the history of England. This victory associated with Queen Elizabeth made England a superpower. There were two notable political features of the Elizabethan age. Number one, settlement. The Elizabethan age was a very stable period politically. Therefore, it was a great period for the production of literature. Drama flourished, led by playwrights such as William Shakespeare and Christopher Marlowe. Although there were dynastic problems, that did not result in open warfare. The ancient rivalry between Scotland and England was also somewhat settled. So this stable period was great for the production of literature. And therefore, Elizabethan age is called the Golden Age of England. Number two, expansion. Elizabethan age was a remarkable period for the expansion of both mental and geographical horizons. Plenty of voyagers went to all corners of the world in search of gold. Their exploits are chronicled in the works of Richard Hacklett. So this was the era when colonization started. The scientific methods of Francis Bacon resulted in the scientific revolution during the Elizabethan age. Now that we have looked at the historical background and the political scenario of the Elizabethan age, it's now time to take a look at the literary features of the Elizabethan age. Number one, Renaissance or Classicism. During the Elizabethan age, Renaissance was spread throughout England. Renaissance is a French word which means revival. This period was characterized by revival of classical Greek and Italian literature. Next is the Inkhorn controversy. This passion for classical learning became a danger to the English language. 
the inkhorn controversy was based on the inclusion of greek and latin words in the english language there was one group that believed that greek and latin words need to be englished means made into english words and there was another group that believed that greek and latin words will corrupt the native vernacular english so this led to the inkhorn controversy third humanism humanism is a major intellectual movement of the renaissance humanism is a belief that human values and needs are more important than religious beliefs humanists believed that human beings have beauty and dignity life should be lived on the basis of reason and humanity instead of the church's power humanism gave birth to individuality during the elizabethan age study in humanities also gained a lot of importance humanities included the study of history law literature ancient and modern languages so we can see that during the elizabethan age literacy also increased among people abundance of literary output the stable political situation of england resulted in an abundance of literary output next is new romanticism the romantic quest for the remote the beautiful and the wonderful was seen during the elizabethan age there was a strong and daring and resolute spirit of adventure it can be seen in edmund spencer's work the fairy queen drama drama flourished during the elizabethan age the english tragedy was heavily influenced from, from the works of the latin dramatist seneca so gorboduc was the first english tragedy that was written by thomas norton and thomas sackville ralph roster doyster was the first english comedy that was written by nicholas udall the university wits contributed largely to the elizabethan drama they were a group of young writers associated with oxford and cambridge university the members of the university wits are christopher marlow john lilly george peel robert green thomas nash thomas lodge and thomas kitt the most popular playwright of the elizabethan age was undoubtedly william shakespeare who wrote 39 plays 154 sonnets and two long narrative poems the most important theaters during the elizabethan age are the theater curtain rose swan and globe the globe was the most famous theater of the elizabethan age it was built in 1599 by the playing company lord chamberlain's men with whom shakespeare worked poetry compared to drama the production of poetry was definitely less however the elizabethan age gave us great and original poetry poets like edmund spenser and sir philip sidney wrote beautiful poems prose there was a rapid development in english prose francis bacon was one of the major prose writers of this age his scientific methods led to the scientific revolution his major works are his essays and the advancement of learning Other prose writers of the Elizabethan age are Robert Burton and Richard Hooker. So that's all about the Elizabethan age or the golden age of England. I hope you found the video helpful. If you found the video helpful then do like it and share with your friends. I'll be back next week with a new video on a literary work. Till then stay tuned to learning literature with Purva. Also stay connected on Facebook and Instagram. If you want to be a member of Learning Literature with Purva, please click on the blue join button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.